Hey guys, so, well today it is Sunday, July 14th, 2019, and so time for the lawn cutting video for the month of July. So, as I was mentioning during the update video, uh, we'll uh, do the mowing with the uh, Craftsman mower. I decided to use it. And I did get a request from somebody, from someone I don't know who, that whoever that was wanted me to use the uh, Echo PB500T backpack blower and the steel FS91R trimmer. <clears throat> so, I guess that without further ado, We'll uh, get started here. All right, so, so I've had this trimmer for more than a year, and I also added a, uh, a barrier bar. Wanted to have one of those in case if I do w would want to put a, a brush cutting blade on it. So I found this on eBay at a fairly good price because my local steel dealer did not have them in stock. And yeah. So this is powered by a 28.4 cc four stroke hybrid, whereas steel prefers it as a four mix engine. which it has kind of like the bottom end of a two-stroke engine and then the rest of the engine is a four-stroke. And you see how much fuel that I have here. And we got about three quarters of the way full. Yeah, the fuel is red because I'm running, well, the oil that I'm using is Echo Red Armor. And I'm also running the uh, Echo Black Diamond string. Seems to work really good with this string. Okay, so we'll see how see how it starts. Usually starts in about one or two pulls. So we'll choke it. It's a semi-automatic choke because when you would tap on the throttle trigger it'll put it back into the run position. Alright. See how it starts. Not bad. We'll just let this run for a little bit and then we'll start trimming.
right, trimming is all done. So again, this is the 2017 Steel FS91R. This is powered by a 28.4cc four-stroke hybrid. Hybrid meaning that it doesn't uh, have an oil sump, just like a regular four-stroke. You just have to run the uh, the gas oil mix just like you would on a two-stroke engine just to lubricate the internals of the engine and an update on my grandfather's lawnmower which is the lawn boy 10604 I think I've discovered on what could be the problem I suspect that it has no spark I just did a test on it for spark and there was no spark at all it will spark sometimes but just not much so I'm gonna I have ordered a, a new ignition module for it I would have thought maybe if if it was the carburetor and that wasn't really the case that didn't really help just by putting a new carburetor on it I did adjust the valves so they're they're good I actually did try to start it earlier today and it didn't do anything at all. And sure enough, I think the ignition module is dead now. It, just for a while it was just intermittent, but I think it's dead now. Alright, so now for the cutting portion, we'll do the mowing with the Craftsman mower. Alright. Full quick walk around on the lawn mower. Oh, a second. A little squirrel here kind of fell over. It's kind of like part of our little landscape decoration here. Actually, those hydrangeas need to be watered. I'm not looking that great. I was intending to water them this morning when I watered the grass. I just didn't get around to them, but I'll do that once I'm done mowing. So, this is my dad's old Craftsman lawnmower had it for 16 years got a good reliable Honda engine I think this is a model GCV 160 and they're still made today these engines have been around for a long time I think they started out with the GC GCV 135 which I don't think Honda makes those anymore and then the GCV 160 that you see here the GCV 190 that's on my pressure washer and then now the all-new GCV 200 that's now on the Honda HRX series lawn mowers so this is the kind where it has just the manual choke the ones nowadays have the automatic choke system And I think about a year after this, in 2004, they had a semi-automatic choke system. Where you would manually just close the choke, and then when the engine would run, it'll start opening the choke. Okay, so we'll see how this mower starts. Uh, I think it's been, oh god, I think it's been just roughly about maybe over a month since I last used it. So we'll see how it starts.
workout. <sighs> Boy, that's probably one reason why I don't use this lawnmower that much, or at least here in the front yard. Because this stuff is so thick, it is hard to push this thing. <sighs> See, that's why you got to have a, a self-propelled lawnmower, at least for as thick as this grass is, a self-propelled lawnmower is a big must. With rear-wheel drive, or an all-wheel drive one would be even better. <sighs> so I actually cut it not too bad. Some areas it looks like I might need to kind of run it over, run them over again. I don't know why, that mo this mower does tend to leave behind some blades that do kind of pop up. It's always done that ever since my dad bought the mower brand new. Alright, so that does it for the front. Now we will do the back. does it for the for the grass just as it's starting to get dark
This spot still hasn't quite recovered yet from the chinch bug damage that we had last year. A lot of dollar weeds. Yeah, lots of it. This is probably this is possibly possibly maybe crabgrass. Well that stuff is thick. Here's a good batch of St. Augustine right here, and also over here. Alright, so that does it for the mowing. Now we'll do the blowing with the Echo PB500T. Alright, so here is my Echo PB500T backpack blower. I've had this blower for almost eight years. It's been a good one. And I don't think y'all can see that. Where's the engine displacement? There it is. The GoPro won't quite pick it up very well. It's a 50.8 cc engine. And it was built in August of 2011. And I bought it in October of that year. Okay. I did use this. Let's see when. When did I use this last? I think I used it last week. So it should start up fairly easy.
Alright, so got the mowing done just in time, just as it's starting to get dark. So that does it for the lawn cutting video for the month of July, featuring the 2011 Echo PB500T backpack blower. The 2017 Steel FS91R string trimmer. And the 2003 Craftsman mower with the uh, Honda GCV160 engine. And here's the model number and serial number. So y'all can see that. I don't know how good the GoPro is focusing on that. But that's it right there. And so for... Ah, shoot. I just ran into that tree. Knocked my glasses off. All right, sorry about that. So for next month's lawn cutting video, we'll uh, use the Lawn Boy 10606. That's the only lawnmower that I've not featured in any of the lawn cutting videos for this year. And let me know what trimmer and blower that y'all would want me to, to use. Just any of them except for the ones that I just featured for today's lawn cutting video. So just let me know in the comments below. So yeah. Alright, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And so, thanks for watching.